we're gonna be reviewing Mo Mountain Hot Sauce Purple Label. Now, yesteryear gone by, I've tried the green label and I liked it very much. So now I'm excited to try the purple label. And I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the purple label. Label? I'm a big fan of the purple label. Why? Because I never, I don't feel like this is a very commonly seen color on labels in the hot sauce world. Certainly not in the hot sauce world. You know what I'm saying? Because that's more of like a bing, bam, boom, zip, zap color type of thing. So I like this. Well done on the label. Uh, also, support your local volunteers. Because from my understanding, Mo Mountain is a volunteer firefighter. So thank you very much for your service. Let's see what's in this house, shall we? It says, <clears throat> and I quote, let me back up some, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so invasive. This is a little better. There, turn the light down some, turn the lights down low, get a little bit more intimate, a little bit more serious here. Okay, now, this is better. I feel like this is better. Okay, ingredients are molasses, orange habanero, pepper puree, orange habanero peppers, salt, acetic acid, apple cider vinegar, habanero powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, garlic powder, allspice, cinnamon, black pepper, and ground mace. The heck is ground mace? I gotta know. Let's Google that. Let's GTS it. To the capsaicin computer. Isn't it cute? It is ground mace. That sounds like a completely different experience. Oh, it's an aromatic golden brown spice obtained from the dried arrow nut-like sheath of the nutmeg seed. Mace brings fragrant nutmeg-like aromas and warm taste to any dish. Use as a nutmeg substitution or addition to desserts, stews, and you get the idea. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, after reading those ingredients, I think that this sauce is going to be a lot more exciting than just the label. Um, I feel like this is going to be a little different, and I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, let's let's dive in and see what it's about. We're trying this, we're sampling this live and in person. So you know I didn't come up with a preconceived notion before you got here. The texture and the color of this is so dark. It's really unique, truly. This has definitely caught my eye. And it smells wonderful. It smells sweet and almost clo not clovey, but kind of. I bet that's the mace, I guess. It's almost like a smoky, but it's like a smoky sweet. Okay, you know what? Let me taste it with my mouth instead of my nose. Let's see what we think here. Ooh, it's got a beautiful pour. And down the hatch, cabbage patch. No. Oh, it's called Mucho Mojo. Stop. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. That's smoky and sweet and weird, but good weird? Mo Mountain, you kind of got me a little speechless here, boss man. Uh, the first time that I ever had Mo Mountain, it was just a really good jalapeno sauce. This, this is very different. This is very unique. It's actually got a really great kick to it. God, this is one of a kind, man. This feels like something that you would like marinate pork chops in or something. Wow, I gotta do that again. That is crazy and good. Oh man. Look at that. You nailed it, Mo Mountain. You crushed it. That is is so unique. What, 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 what am I trying to say? Wow. The smoked paprika, the cinnamon, the molasses, the habaneros, it definitely has some heat. But this gives me more of like spicy marinade vibes than just a regular old hot sauce. And it really is hot. Wow. And what you can see around the, the rim, uh, just the molasses kind of going to work in there. 
yeah, this is totally like a marinade type of thing. And uh, I'm really, really thankful that you sent this to me. Uh, it has a really awesome, unique flavor that I am a huge, huge fan of. Uh, very memorable, big fan. And it's definitely spicy, but not too spicy, uh, but almost. Wow. Yes, I will definitely, definitely be using this. But it is is more of a like, I don't know. I'll I'll probably be putting it on everything until I find that perfect thing. But yeah, to me right now, just off the cuff, I would say like maybe on rice, it almost has like an Asian dumpling inspired vibe to it, but then not like a smoky marinade vibe to it. Big fan and my mouth is on fire. So well done, Mo Mountain. And thank you so much for sending this to me. This is awesome. If you're interested in getting some of your own purple label Mo Mountain, go to www.momountainhotsauce.com. Uh, yeah, this one, this is in the, the flavor profile realm I'm a, I'm a big fan of. I bet this would be good on sushi, rice. The, the longer I think about it, the, the more ideas I come up with. Awesome. Awesome job. Thank you.